I happen to be one silly pseudonym, and this is Tiny Rogues. It's meant to be just a quick little rogue light game. Fire's your strength. You need my gifts. Okay, so we have our little meta upgrade system gifts here. So right now we start with a ring that gives us an additional heart. Seems useful. All right, let's select a class. The hero, hot-blooded young hero on a quest to vanquish humanity's biggest adversary. Can they defeat death? Though fortune's favor, it grants a red dice anytime you enter a new floor. Start with a random weapon from the tutorial after completing it. All right, we'll give it a go. Seems fairly basic in stats. Let's see what happens. Bonk. Seems reasonable. The pit. Welcome, young traveler. I'm here to help you get going on your journey. Space or E to continue. Move with WADS. I see. You can dash with space. When dashing, you are invincible to enemy attacks, but it does cost a stamina. You can use bombs with Q. Here are some for later. Well, very kind of you. Splendid. Now attack the dog, a target dummy with the mouse left button. Show it who's boss. Haha, you're a natural. Let's meet in the next room. Can't even attack them. Hmm. Is this a secret? Should I use a bomb here? Nope. Just a breed. Ah, weapon. To defeat stronger foes, you will have to arm yourselves. Pick up items with E. Open your inventory with F. Drag and drop. Whoops. Drag and drop or right click the weapon to equip it. We can get a bow, a sword, or a wand. Well, if we're going to be a traditional hero, let's go with the sword. Alright, so. Which of these do I actually get? Okay, interesting. If you want to know more big details about equipment, compare items, hold left shift. Ah, I begin to understand. If you want to know even more about your current stats, you can open the character panel with C. There we go. Time for a real bell. Let's meet again in the next room. Hello, slime. Now bear with me for a moment. Oh dear. On your journey, you will sometimes find these things. Pairs increase your dexterity. Meat increases strength. Candy increases intelligence. Food items like these will level you up and increase your power. Weapon damage scales with your attributes. Additionally, attributes from level ups give you health, stamina, and mana at 10, 20, and 30 points. So don't neglect attribute points that don't directly benefit your weapon. That is all I can teach you for now. The rest you'll figure out on your own. So get a little intelligence, a little strength, and a little dexterity. Easy enough thus far. Get a pair of bombs. Let's get some attributes. Some takes I'm getting used to to get custom to the movement. Ah, there's our level up. Boy, that looks slightly painful. 10% more damage per missing heart. 25% more damage when not having armor. Evade the first damaging hit you take in every room. That sounds useful. Let's go with that. More intelligence or gold? Ooh. Well, if we're using the sword, we don't need intelligence quite as much. Let's get some gold. So we can buy something from the inevitable shop. Okay, easy peasy. A key. Let's get a key as well. We want a little bit of everything. I assume. Ah, what's this? We can't get in without a bomb, I assume. 
I assume correctly. Is that pieces of something? No, that's just... That's just debris. Contains simple rewards, not a lot, or just get some strength. Since we're using a sword, let's get some strength going. A key or even more strength. Let's get even more strength. A lot of gold or body armor. Hmm. Let's try the armor. That's a big spider. Time to feast. Oh dear. Okay. Additional area attacks. So, is this time to summon? No, well, not yet. Okay. Ah! Evade our first damage. Nice use of our first ability pick up there. Yo, hiss! I'm going to feed you to my children. Well, not today. Oh, oh, that was just the first stage. The fool that I am! I thought it was over. You should always know there are multiple stages to these fights. Custom to the stamina. Okay, good enough, good enough. Try to hide up here. There we go. False defeated. Lots of souls. And a 10% increase to melee damage. Seems useful. Let's look at our equipment real quick. Yeah, it doesn't say it does anything else. Expecting armor to maybe provide some armor? I don't know. Floor one done. Now we move on to floor two. The Boneyard. Tips for Adventure is one of ten. Did you know, anytime a numerical value is randomly rolled, there will be an additional roll per luck you have, and the outcome that is in your favor. Yep, I don't think we have any luck at the moment, so... Let's see, where is luck? Do we even have such a creature? Oh, there it is. Yes, we have zero luck. E or strength? Well, let's get our strength up even higher. Ah, there we go. Remember, you're invincible when dashing. You're invincible when dashing. That part was easy enough. More bombs or gold? Let's just get a little bit more gold. Uh, bombs, I mean. Since I did use one trying to find a non-existent secret room. bombs. Wow. A lot of chest. For melee fighters. Well, we're a melee fighter. Alright. Skeleton archer. 
dead, and now just the skeleton uh, warrior. Also, one key. A helmet increases melee damage by 10%. Okay. Intelligent or replenish our keys. Let's get another key to... I am glad for that healing, or initial dodge, I guess. That's our key. More bombs are fully refill health. Well, we're only down one. But that's one hell health. What are you? Ooh, I don't like you. Ooh, okay. Some kind of beam attack. Ah. I guess it's a good thing we're getting our health refilled if we can survive this. Or strength. Well, let's get our strength up even higher. Probably being a tad too conservative at times with these dashes. Okay, strength up and a level up. Critical hit multiplier, more damage dealt per missing heart, or more stamina. Ooh. I like it all. I think I take the stamina though. And let's get even more stats. Oh, that's not good. When do you start dropping bombs? I assume we can just dash to that safely, but still. A lot of chests contain a variety of rewards. Now well, let's get the gold. Variety could be good, could be bad. Dexterity or a lot chest? Well, once again, I'm going to go with this stat up. Okay. Interesting. A random accessory or plus one to all stats. Oh, wow. Let's just get a stat up for everything, and if we survive, who dare enter our lair? I do. Hee 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 hee. Okay, there's some kind of fan attack. Then, teleporter circle attack. I see. That's the technical term, I'm sure. Ooh, what is this? Oh, you summon. Oh, that's even more annoying. Okay, at least these don't drop bombs, so that's good. That took our first damage, or used our evasion, I guess, more accurately. You just stay back there. You don't mind? Uh. <laughs> bip, bip, bip. Didn't dash early enough. Death claims another. How dare. But did I do well enough to unlock some other rewards? Let's see.
Yep, got a thousand souls. Always watching you go hunt souls. Okay, so this, I assume, is the meta currency. So, more damage for the first four seconds you're in a room. More damage based on the weakness to an attack. Pick up radius per level. Don't know if we really need that. At least what I've seen thus far. More damage against enchanted enemies. Great chance against enemies moving away from you. Bosses. That might be what I want to focus on. Increase dash speed when you increase attack speed when you dash. Increase chance to be enchanted for a weapon. Rerolls. Ah, okay. Cheaper shops, bigger bombs. A free revival. Okay. Grab a soul heart. Start with one extra level. Recover a heart after picking a trait. And the first damaging hit you take in a boss room deals only one half a heart less damage. Okay. Nothing unlocked here yet. Reincarnation seems like a good first thing to have. And the cost does go up. Starting with a soul heart might not be bad either. Keeper shops. Reroll traits also sounds pretty useful. Okay. Can we play as any of these? Ah, we have to have souls to buy them. Ah, I did not realize this. I right, bought one already. Let's take our hero out one more time. See what happens. Drops loot when shattered or just gain gold. Well, let's get some gold. Ah, uh, poor thing. Oh, I don't have any bombs. Uh, the tutorial gave me a bomb, but this didn't. Um, well, now don't I feel dumb. Can I go back now? No. Strength or a simple reward? Not locked. Well, let's get our strength going. Gold or intelligence? Let's level up. Oops, should not let the enemy attack me. That's a bad thing. Soul heart sounds useful, but so does dexterity. A key or gold? Let's get a key going. Ah, if only these easy enemies would stay for the second stage. Contains a shrine. When the world's a shrine. Plus one stamina. Okay. Uh, more keys, I guess. Simple chest or just some dexterity? That will be a level up for us, so let's get our dexterity if we can. There we go. Hmm, let's see if we need to use our reroll. More damage in rooms that you have taken damage. More damage, but less attack speed. Swords, daggers, sickles, and scythes gain increased attack speed from mana at half value. So mana would be related to intelligence. 
try that and see. That's... 0 40 mana. So, how can we get more mana? Ooh, I want an accessory, but I also want a better sword. Nothing can stop me. Well, maybe. Oh, you drop rocks. I see. I see. Really should get better about attacking right when they do that. There's our mana. There we go. Stand still, you make me angry. Stage two, yep. Oop, and they also had to drop more rocks. That's cheating. Last one almost gets me every time. Ooh, barely made it to that one. Alright, dagger melee. Physical thrust. More crit, inflict, bleed. Sure. We go ahead and equip that. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, don't forget to pick up our souls. Now, the question is, will we actually survive the next stage? Probably not. Then I, I'm enjoying this. This is a nice little quick, easy type build in terms of there aren't too many moving parts. You can explode treasure chests and slot machines with bombs. Interesting. Now let's go get some more bombs then. Gold or upgrade? Needs a key. Okay. Anything forged. 20 gold. Well, we have no gold. You never mentioned anything about gold. a drink? Sure. Do I have to charge money? Or do you charge money? Yes, you do. Well, that's rude. If I want a drink, you'll have to talk to the tavern keeper. Are you some kind of off-brand Santa Claus? Nope, no, you're the real Santa. Can you believe it? No. A gift box. Uh, sure. <laughs> Hello there. The beer is good, huh? Cambrian Tabalo. That is unfortunate. I'll sell you sake for 15. Interesting. You aren't a cool samurai warrior like me. That is true. That is true. The lady over there is a tavern keeper's sister. He has unlimited access to the tavern keeper's secret special ale. That stuff slaps, and she tells some really funny jokes. No headache either. Somehow it's really refreshing. So you heal, I assume. Enchant your weapons. Interesting. Now, where am I from? None of your worries, darling. I'm friendly. I mean no harm. That's just what the vampire says before they eat me. You intrigue me, but there's no time. We both must soon depart, darling. For 20 gold, we'll spend a night you'll never forget. Fully recover your health. You're missing out. Come back if you change your mind. Oh dear. What are, what are you 
necessarily exactly. Let's get some gold since we apparently need gold for everything around here. Oh, the dagger's kind of fun. Boomerangs on us. A lot of chest, but it does contain melee stuff. Bandit armor, one more heart. It also has attunement. When the world's an attunement. I do not know. Okay, well, we'll see. Buy items in the shop. We probably don't have enough money. I'll look for another key, though, to replace the one we used. I am liking the extra damage on this dagger, though. It's more powerful than our sword was, that's for certain. Strength sounds good to me. Hello? Oh, that's not good. Ah. Didn't dash in time, how dare. <laughs> loading, loading. Alright, let's collect our souls. 500 isn't too terrible. Let's unlock some other characters, shall we? Whoa, you are expensive. Cleric. Okay, recovers more hearts when entering a floor. Gain a soul heart when you enter a new floor. Find additional random consumables on boss room completion. Deal 8% more damage for maximum armor you have. And you just have the reroll. Interesting. Alright, but I think that's enough for now. Just wanted to show it's a neat little game. It's very cheap. It's on sale now for what? Four dollars? Something like that. So if you are so interested, give it a try yourself. Just something a little different to spend your time with. But right now, I shall thank you all for stopping by.